I would like to explain this because this is important. Sorry. So when you guys are looking into this, if you're setting up long division, we say, hey, this is linear. Cool. That means if I was going to set that equal to 0 and solve, 3x plus 2 equals 0, x is equal to negative 2 thirds. Okay, so that number is outside. Inside is going to be my coefficients, so 3, 2, 12, and a negative 8. I don't have any place values. And then we just follow the algorithm. Now, this actually, when you guys look at fractions, it looks way more confusing than it really is because 3 times negative 2 thirds, that's a 3 in the numerator, that's a 3 in the denominator. So you just get a negative 2. It's actually really not that bad of a problem. But people all the time will be looking at somebody across their group and not be paying attention, and they'll look, and then they'll be completely confused on a problem like this. 2 plus negative 2 is 0. 0 times anything is just going to be 0. Negative 12 plus 0 is negative 12. And then negative 12 times negative 2 thirds, well, again, that's really like, it's really like this. It's not that bad. Right? You can simplify this, divide the 3 into the 12 four times. 3 goes into 12 four times, so uh, negative 2 times 4 is going to be 8, negative 8, and then you get a 0. So the problem is, that's not the same answer we had, is it? It, it would end up being the positive 8 because the negative sign is negative. Oh, yeah, it was supposed to be a positive. Sorry, thank you. Anyway, we're supposed to get 0. But guys, do you see where we have an issue? The answers are not the same. We both got a remainder of 0, but the answers are not the same. Do you guys see that? It's a problem. Got a problem here. So all we need to understand for this, and the reason why what we can relate to this is, again, that's why long division is helpful, OK? Because if my answer is just like to check if something's a divisor, synthetic division is like you know, fast like for that way. Or to find the zeros, synthetic division is fine. Because this doesn't change the zeros. You could still find the zeros from here. It's not going to matter. Like if we write this as 3x squared minus 12 equals 0, finding the zeros is you know, fairly simple too, right? But the problem is, all we need to do, what we understand the difference is, is this is being divided. We have our negative 2, but we, basically the difference here is that 3. So all we need to do to get to our, our correct answer is just divide by um, 3. And we're left with x squared minus 4 equals 0. And then we're good to go. Okay. So I just wanted to present that to you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. So um, what did I ask you guys? So we want to divide this, find the zero. Let's find all the remaining zeros. And either way, you guys can see that if these are our two factors, if this is our factor, or even if this was our factor, you guys can see that the factored form would be x minus 2, x plus 2. Correct? So is this a factor? Because it has a remainder of 0? If this, is this a 0? I'm sorry. Right? So therefore, that means that is a factor. So therefore, what I can say is, um, if I want to find all the zeros, or I could write the I could write this as linear factorization, 3x plus 2 times the quotient x squared minus 4, right? Because what I did is I divided it by 3. Then if I wanted to write the linear factorization, I could say y equals 3x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x plus 2. And then, guys, if I just wanted to find all the zeros, I could set that equal to 0 and solve. And our zeros would be. Um, negative 2 thirds plus or minus 2. Okay. Now, we found three zeros. Let's go and double check our answer. Based on the fundamental theorem of algebra, does the number of zeros match our original equation, our original 